Wahnsinn. Look, Charlie Brown. You've got to help me break this blanket habit. Why don't you let me try to find some sort of substitute? Well, it works pretty well. But it does have its drawbacks. Linus, I really like you. You're my sweet babu. But I could like you even more if you give up that blanket. Besides, no future husband of mine is going to sit around holding a blanket. I'm not your sweet babu. I'm not your future husband. And I don't really care if you like me or not. I look forward to the day when I'll understand girls. I need your help, Charlie Brown. I'm going to try and kick this blanket once and for all. I want you to take care of it for me, but no matter how much I plead, don't give it back to me. Good grief! I can't do it! I think I've changed my mind. Please, give it back! You're weaker than I am! Now let's do it right this time. You hang on to it for me, but don't give it to me even if I beg you for it. Don't give it back to me, no matter how much I plead, no matter how desperate I become. I've changed my mind. I want it. No, 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 no! Good grief. What's the matter? What's the matter, he asks. You're a disgrace. No girl could ever like anyone as dirty as you. Girls like boys who are clean and neat and who keep their shoelaces tied. But there are a lot of things more important than just being clean. What on earth are you doing here? I need professional help. I can't get rid of this blanket. It's the only thing that keeps me going. Well, as they say on TV, the mere fact that you realize you need help indicates that you are not too far gone. But I'm in sad shape. Have no fear, little brother. My job is to heal, to guide the patient, to be that voice gently whispering sound advice into his ear. Grow up! Too much healing can be hazardous to your health. Thank <laughs> you.